Welcome to Tech Tracker. I'm Diana Blass, a contributor with Nation's Restaurant News. Coming up on this episode, Velvet Taco introduced a ChatGPT created dish. Learn about the latest solutions using generative AI. Something that I think is really interesting is that this AI technology isn't quite all the way there yet. Plus, cloud based applications that target staffing. Byte Ninja is basically this remote staffing system. So it allows people that are working from home to work in a restaurant. How useful are these tools and are restaurants ready to adopt them? Let's turn to Joanna Fantosi, senior editor and author of Tech Tracker on Nation's Restaurant News. Joanna, let's start with generative AI, a technology on everyone's minds following the release of ChatGPT and other large language models. These models serve as the brains for all type of solutions that you point out in your latest tech tracker are automating nearly every part of a restaurant's operations. Tell us more about what you see in the market. Right, so I think it's uh, some of the innovation related to ChatGPT and AI is be, is be has been really interesting. Swipe by, they just announced uh, that they're going to be introducing a suite of AI features. Um, that includes posting on social media about your restaurant or even posting on social media in general. I will say these these uh, capabilities aren't new, just showing you how much of a trend this has become. And Resto GPT was particularly exciting because I actually got to test drive it myself. Basically, it allows you to custom create uh, an online ordering portal. And so basically what I was allowed to do uh, through Resto GPT is I input the website URL of a menu that's available online and pretended it was mine. Um, and I let the AI do its work. And a couple of hours later, it had come up with um, a mock-up kind of of what an online ordering portal could look like interactive menu elements so you could click on the different categories and add things to your cart, et cetera. Um, whereas if this was done by a human, it would definitely take more than a couple of hours to do. So from that test, would you say these solutions are market ready? Every time I've test drove um, or tested out AI that's image generated AI, um, it's always created some kind of unique images, so to speak. Um, it doesn't quite get people right. Um, and for example, like in the menu, uh, there was an item that was chopped salad. I don't really know what it was, but it definitely wasn't a chopped salad. It looked almost like bruschetta, chopped up bruschetta in a bowl. I think that at this point, the technology does require human intervention. It requires an editor, so to speak. Interesting. Well, that certainly adds perspective to why these models have been a source of debate. We've seen the FTC open an investigation into open AI around consumer protection issues and lawsuits over copyright concerns. It all showcases the risks associated with AI content generation. What do you think restaurants should keep in mind when adopting these solutions? Is it ethical? You're creating menu images based off of what an AI thinks your menu item should look like. That's not exactly what it looks like. Um, and so that's something that I think is is really interesting and what I think restaurant operators and probably people across other industries will ponder uh, the ethics and morality of using AI to, uh, to power your operations. All right, well, let's now move on to Byte Ninja's remote staffing system. It allows drive-through restaurants to outsource drive-through operations to remote employees who take orders through software that's integrated into a restaurant's existing menu boards and ordering systems. You first wrote about this tech in 2021, and now there's some new capabilities to share. Tell us more. So at first, the technology was really only available uh, for the drive-through lane, and now it's being expanded to other areas of the restaurant, uh, including the front of the house, uh, including uh, you know, for, for customers that are checking out or placing orders uh, inside the restaurant, not just in the drive-through, uh, and this smart system that can take virtual workers in and out of the queue, that's brand new. Um, they weren't quite ready yet to say who their restaurant partners are, um, probably for legal reasons, uh, but my guess is they'll probably come out with news soon. This is definitely geared toward, if I had to guess, this is geared toward uh, maybe mid-sized fast food chains. 
Well, great. Thanks, Joanna, for your perspective. Always fun to learn about the latest ways that tech is transforming a restaurant's operations. For more coverage like this, check out Joanna's Tech Tracker column on NRN.com. Till next time, I'm Diana Blast.